Peace and blessings, everyone. I am back with a new pick a card reading. And if you've been following me, you know I don't really do too many pick a card readings. I only believe I did one. <laughs> but I want to do something different. I want to do something fun. And I want to do something for my singles out there. Especially since it's the first part of the year. It's still January. So I want to go ahead and do a reading, pick a card for my single people out there. I feel that a lot of women, especially in our 30s and knocking on 40s or 40s, um, are in a space in our lives where we are looking for that mate. We are looking for the person that God has for us, the universe has for us, and we want to know, okay, can you give me a little, 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 little details, a little hint? Um, who I'm supposed to be with, uh, if that person is still in my energy or in my energy, um, will I meet them anytime soon? And also, we also need to know things that we need to work on within ourselves because a lot of people want to do relationship readings. But one thing that I've noticed with relationship readings, spirit gives you things that you need to work on in yourself. It will reveal things that you may have been doing wrong that has not brought your person to you okay and when i do readings that's one thing people know about me is that it's like a life coaching session it's not just saying oh you know who i'm gonna marry and finding out you know is the person i'm with supposed to be i'm supposed to be with them that's not what it is you have to fix yourself you have to work on things within yourself in order to be ready for whomever god has for you and that is the point of love readings i believe okay so, as you can see, I have three groups here, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to pause this video right here, and I want you to take three deep breaths, and I want you to focus, okay? Okay, for the three groups that we have here, the first group is represented by the amethyst crystal. The second one is represented by rose quartz, and the third one is represented by the smoky quartz, okay? So... I so go ahead and meditate and see what group you're drawn to and go ahead to that time on the video, okay? And then we're going to see what spirit and your guides and your angels have to say to you regarding your love life this year. Okay, so if you pick group one, which was represented by the Amethyst Crystal, um, Spirit has a lot to say to you regarding um, your past relationships. Um, you may have just broken up with someone or... Um, Within the past two years, I feel is very significant for you regarding your love life. I feel that the relationship that you were in um, is represented in the first column of cards, okay? This is the Love and Attraction Oracle. So the first card we have here is hypersexual. The person that you were with probably cheated on you a lot. They always was always doing some shit they weren't supposed to be doing, either cheating, flirting, um, sending sexual text messages or anything to someone um, which caused conflict in your relationship. Um, I feel like the reason why they were doing these things was because they were kind of like a sex addict. And some people just don't have it in them to be faithful. Some people are just hypersexual. They got to have sex and they have to have a variety. And this to me means that the family card for that is like this is something like their family did like the men in their family or the women in their family um did like it's just they come from a family full of players um people that's unfaithful people who don't value family they don't value relationships they don't know how to so it's genetically in them to be bitches or players um and it's unfortunate because I feel like the connection and the love that you have for them was 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 there. It was you were willing to give yourself to this person, but this person just constantly, constantly kept cheating or doing some stuff they should not have been doing that was hurting you and hurting the relationship, and it caused the breakup. Okay, so this breakup for you guys, I feel was just so so emotionally draining and hard breaking for you because you had so 
many high hopes, so so many plans. You saw this person being your forever person. You wanted marriage, okay? So this last relationship you were in, probably in the last year or two, was this type of relationship. This may not resonate with everybody. It's a general reading. Even if you pick group one, you're not going to resonate with everything that I say. But if it does resonate, please, you know, take the messages in and, and, and go with that because this is your angels, this is your guys. This is something that they need for you to know, okay? So um, within the last year or two, many of you were in a relationship with someone who constantly cheated on you, um, you know, just always had to have a variety. It was always some person in the mix. It was always something, always, maybe uh, it was a repeat person, a person like this one, just this one person, this person could not leave alone for some reason. It doesn't matter how many times they said they wasn't going to cheat on you anymore. They were done with this person. Um, they love you. They don't know why. They just had a weak moment, but they truly love you. It doesn't matter how many times this person said these things and promised that they weren't going to do those things anymore. They continue to do it because this is something that they always had around them in their family. Okay. I picked the card up with these nails. <laughs> You know, so it's hereditary. They was around family who um, just didn't, you know, they didn't take, they didn't value relationships, you know. They probably had, you know, the uncles in the family showing them how to be dogs and players. And, you know, you never settle down with one woman and all of that. So this played a part in why this relationship didn't work and why it did not progress to marriage as you would have liked. And the reason why is because you guys, you need to understand a lot of times when relationships do not work is because it was not meant to work. Okay. Whatever that person uh, role was or purpose was in your life, it was for that time. It's for you to learn from it and move forward and move on. Because a lot of you, and especially in um, group one, a lot of you have been holding on to people y'all should have let go a long time ago. And you're wondering why, okay, why I'm not happy? What's going on? What's going on? I'm doing all I can and this person just not being receptive to me. Um, I, I keep, you know, I, I keep doing all I can and they are not listening. They don't care. Um, you keep breaking up, back together, breaking up, back together, breaking up. And the reason being is because this person is not supposed to be your forever person. And spirit is saying, you have to let that go for me to give you what and who you deserve, who I have waiting for you. But you're not going to get that if you consistently keep trying to make something work with something or somebody that the universe is trying to break apart, okay? So for many of you, you have already let this person go, but some of you are still warring back and forth with this person. Spirit saying, y'all are still warring back and forth. You can't let go. Whatever you do, they keep coming around saying, I'm sorry, I ain't gonna cheat on her. Cheat on you no more with this person. You know, she don't mean nothing. Um, or whatever. Also, many of you in group one, the person that is doing this to you is doing this with a baby mother, okay? Someone that they have children with um, and have a long history with. So they are tied to this person. It's hard for them to break free from that. And honestly, it's like, it will never change. Spirit is saying it is not going to ever change. So you need to let that go. They are suggesting and telling you for you to be free and for your forever person to come, you need to let go of this connection. Even though it's hard, they know it's hard. Like if you love someone, you can't just let them go. Okay. But for you to move forward and, and God and the universe to bless you with the person you need in your life, you have to let go of this person. Marriage, it wasn't in the cards for y'all. You just have to get that through your mind and understand, look, even though I wanted to marry this person, this person was not the person I was supposed to marry, okay? So this is what Spirit is saying um, to you all with this group of cards here. As you can see, the family card has came back up again, okay? So many of you are uh, wanting a family. The fam the card came up twice. For this one, it, it has a different meaning, okay? Many of you want a family. Y'all want... You I just want a traditional relationship, traditional uh, family life, you know? Many of you may already have kids, um, 
And many of you may not have kids and y'all want that family before you reach a certain age. Um, especially if you're 35, between 35 and 40, you're having that itch. Like, okay, God, if I'm meant to have children, I'll have more children. I want that now. I want that now. I want to do that now before I become up in age. Okay. So that is what this card means for you guys. We have work, we have freedom. With these two cards, you guys have to make time to meet other people. You are letting work consume you. It's tying you down, okay? You need to free yourself, free yourself. Don't, I mean, it's okay to be a workaholic. It is, it's okay. Everybody's about the coin, especially right now. A lot of people are out of work. Um, a lot of people are struggling. So you are definitely in the mindset of getting your money, uh, financial stability. But in order for you to meet this person, you have to balance this and, and let yourself out. You have to have some kind of freedom. Be free. Don't let your work life consume you, okay? Because if you do that, you are prolonging the connection, okay? You are prolonging meeting this person, okay? And we have the dark-skinned male. This person that you are supposed to be with is a dark skinned male. He may be dark with curly hair. He may be dark with wavy hair. It does not matter, but he is a dark skinned male. Okay, so the next card we have, we have calling in your soulmate. This person, this dark skinned male is your soulmate. So even if you're watching this in group one and you're a white woman or a, a Latino or Indian or whatever, whomever, the person that's your soulmate will be darker than you or you're, if you're an African American or a dark skinned female, he will be dark skinned, okay? Dark tanned complexion, okay? So this person is your soulmate, but you guys have to let go of all the past hurt and pain from this person that you know that broke your heart that you wanted to marry and you need to make room for this person you need to balance your work life better and make yourself free i know with the coronavirus a lot of restrictions are in place but that does not mean you do not have to go anywhere okay you need to get out i don't care if it's like going to the park or um hanging out with your friends at an outdoor restaurant you know something like that like just do something don't let your work consume you because your soulmate is gonna be waiting for y'all he's gonna be waiting for y'all and i feel like the soulmate is somebody you have met before or you're gonna meet through someone okay now, the next card we have here is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, okay? So for me, this means retreat as far as work is concerned. Work is concerned. So these three cards tie in together for me, for you guys, okay? So you need to retreat. Take a vacation. Um, if you have PTO, take that time and, and just relax. Get out. Enjoy yourself, you know? Because if you do that, the chance of you meeting this person is very high very high the attraction between you guys will be immediate it will be an immediate attraction okay so this dark skinned male is going to like oh as soon as you see him you're gonna be like damn oh who are you you know that's the energy like who are you like how can I get to know you? And he's going to feel that same way towards you as well. And very soon. So this is telling me this is in your energy right now. It's not something you need to wait like to 2022 or anything like that. I will say in the next six months, you do all the things that I mentioned, you know, take time out from work, PTO if you have it, use it, you know, take a little vacation. This dark skinned male will come into your energy and it will be an immediate attraction. He is your soulmate. This can work and is very soon, very soon, okay? And the last card I have for you guys, which is my under construction deck um, card that I created as well. Um, it says, throw caution to the wind and just do it. Just do it. what I just say? Don't be afraid. Do what you got to do. Just do it. Don't be afraid to let your guard down. Don't be afraid to let somebody else in. Don't be afraid to take that risk. And this man will be there. 
He is the one. He is the one. Now, that don't mean you're going to marry this man like in two weeks now, okay? <laughs> that does not mean marry this man in two weeks or six months or whatnot. But the relationship, I feel, will start to evolve very quickly, okay? You guys will have an instant connection. The attraction will be off the charts, okay? But overall, Spirit wants you to say, throw caution to the wind. Don't be afraid. Don't let this person, this person, detour you and make you afraid to let him in, okay? So, I hope that resonated with you guys. Take what I said and sit on and meditate. Ask your, your guys for more guidance if you need it, all right? So, I love you all, and I'm going to shut down this reading and move to group two. Okay, my wonderful group two people, you guys picked the rose quartz. And it's funny that you guys picked this because love, love, love. All I see is true love, rekindle love, new love. <laughs> so there's a lot of love going on in here, but a lot of it is toxic. So we're going to see what spirit and your guys have to tell you regarding your love life, okay? So the first card that sticks out to me in the first card we have is trust issues. A lot of you are dealing with major, major, major trust issues. The person that you've been with um, have really hurt you like to the core type of hurt. The type of hurt that you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to deal with anybody because of what they've done to you. You put up this wall and it's a very, very toxic type of energy that you have connected to yourself because of this hurt and the trust issues that you have. And don't get me wrong, you know, I understand. I've been there, you know, and I'm still working on myself for as my trust issues I have. And this kind of reminds me of how I was feeling just recently, okay? And now I'm working on myself to let my guard down and to let love in, okay? But you guys are dealing with major trust issues and it's because of this person that I feel is always like making you feel like it's going to work. Okay, you guys are getting, I'm keep hearing like this person talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, saying, you know, it's, it's okay. We're going to be all right. I feel like they haven't been really truthful to you about their feelings. Um, so it's kind of like, um, I feel like you all are very open. Like you're trying to figure out, you're, you're very talkative. Like you, you're willing to express your feelings and the person that you were dealing with or is still dealing with that you shouldn't be dealing with. <laughs> um, they are still saying, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I love you. I'm, I'm sorry that you feel this type of way. Um, but it's like, you guys keep clashing. I just can't clashing, clashing, clashing. But the thing about it is you can't let this person go. The reason why you can't can't let this person go is because they are your soulmate okay but the thing is you keep a revolving door like y'all keep breaking up or re reconciling 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 all the time you know keep going back and forth this is similar to group one and i think a lot of reason why this is coming up for you guys is because of the pandemic i feel a lot of you were indoors a lot with people and you had to be okay because you couldn't really go nowhere do nothing so a lot of you kept forgiving 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 um letting them come back giving them chance chance after chance because you guys are basically tied down together you know so it's like you are all you got and it's like okay we can't do much you can't really go out and find who I want to find or see if there's other options out there so you think and I'm just gonna keep trying and trying and trying okay so this is my issue with my group one people as well and spirit is saying no, you, you, you have to let this go. Y'all have to let this go. This is a major problem, Spirit is saying, with a lot of you that is watching this video right now. Y'all are continually to hold on, holding on, holding on. And it's time to let these people go, okay? So group two, 
your trust issues is playing a major part because you've been in lockdown with this person and they just making it worse. Like they just doing all kind of silly shit and it's making you not trust them or anyone at this point. Okay. But new love, new love is on the way, but you got to stay out of this doggone revolving door, this relationship. You got to free yourself from that. Okay. And spirit also is saying you need to get out some, you got to get out, get out, get out, get out again. Cause of the pandemic, a lot of people are very stationary and the spirit is saying, get out. Even if it's just like with your friends, two or three people, y'all go and hang out, you know, don't just sit at home. Don't just sit at home because you, you, it's not good for your mental health. I feel a lot of you, y'all need to get out, group two. Have fun because it's going to help you. It's going to save your mental health. At this point, I feel like you guys are truly struggling in that area. I feel a lot of you are involved. A lot of you are involved. Or um, I said it's for singles, but some of you are not really single. So, you know, it's like... You're involved in the situations that you need to let go and don't use the coronavirus or this pandemic to have an excuse for you being miserable, being locked up in the house with somebody who you know for a fact is not good for you. You know, spirit guys are telling you to let this person go. This person is doing all kinds of things, manipulating you, making you feel like some of you feel like a maid, like you cleaning all the time. You got to do this cooking all the time. They don't do shit, but sit there and watch TV and football games and all of that. And they're not giving you anything else. Okay. So I think the pandemic was great for you because it gave you like you understood, like you see who this person really is. Okay. So that was spirit is saying to me. Okay. But this person um, that you are dealing with or have feelings for at this point is your soulmate, but it's a karmic connection. Okay, so this is why it's this is why you keep going back and forth with this person. Okay, you keep going back and forth because this is your karmic soulmate. Okay, this is why. But true love is waiting for you guys. True love is waiting. New love, true love, new love, true love is waiting for you. But you have to break free, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. Like so many of y'all are just settling, just suddenly because it's familiar to you. You don't want to get to know anybody new, but spirit is saying y'all got to do that. Travel, get out and travel, travel, travel. It's okay. It's okay to get out. You don't have to go on a plane. You know, but just get out, travel, travel a little distance. You know, maybe you can go get a um a cabin somewhere or you know book a room and you know have a spa day or whatever with your girls or whatnot something on that nature it is really needed you guys it is needed for you it's needed for everyone from what i can tell okay um this is what spirit is saying for you guys y'all have to get out stop 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 holding on to something that's familiar or you looking to this person to change okay this year, I feel, is the year of new beginnings. That means letting go of the old and allowing new people in, allowing new experiences, okay? So this is what Spirit is saying. True love is waiting for you. New love is waiting for you. But you have to, you have to allow it to come in, okay? Travel, travel. Some of you may have to um, travel for work. Also, you know, this is for you to, to get out and have fun as well. But many of you travel for work. Spirit is saying, y'all travel for work. And this is where you get your peace of mind as well. You working um, and, and being able to get away kind of helps you um, get away from the troubles, um, from yourself. Or if you're with a person, the person that's... Um, that you're involved with okay so travel is very 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 important for you guys especially for your mental health you getting away and having that time to yourself is much needed it gives you time to think but the thing is you guys are thinking 
You're not realizing the things that you're thinking is your spirit guides directing you, telling you what to, you know, what to do in your mind. And you're thinking it's just you. No, that's your spirit guides that are talking to you and saying, this is what you need to do. You need to let this go. Don't worry about this person. Don't worry about they come back or not because true love is waiting for you. Okay. All right. So the next card we have here is past life relationship. The person um, that I spoke of earlier that I said it was a karmic relationship is a past life relationship. All these three cards tie in together and it's a codependency that you guys are are dealing with. Y'all are codependent. Stop. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just stop, stop. I don't know how else to say it. You know, I'm very direct. Just stop the shit, y'all. Like, y'all have to. If you want to, to have this person, the person that's truly meant to come in your life to come you got to break free from this karmic relationship this karmic relationship or this karmic connection okay because it's not doing anything but holding you back okay the next card we have is express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture um and we also have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay so these two cards for me is saying that it's okay to make the first move many of you already have somebody in mind spirit is saying y'all already have somebody in mind that y'all been been looking at and spirit is saying it's okay to express your love many women feel like you know they're afraid to make the first move Okay, and if you're in a uh, uh, same sex relationship um, and you're the feminine female, don't wait for the dominant female to make the move. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead and make that move. <laughs> You know, you make that move. Don't be afraid. You know, be confident in yourself and who you are. And 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 you know what you want, go after what you want. All right? Don't just sit there because sometimes the other person ain't going to move because they don't know how you feel. And spirit is saying it's okay to make that move. It's okay to make yourself known, make things known, okay? It's okay because if you do, there's going to be a hell of a lot of passion, a lot of passion um with this person. I feel like for many of you, this can happen within the next year. It can happen sometime in 2021, but it can happen between I said summer and maybe summer of next year. Okay. Um, so when this person does come and they spark an interest and you just don't know, but this person is constantly on your mind, it's okay for you to make that first move. But I feel like gradually the relationship will bloom into something more, something passionate, something that you need. Okay. And I feel like it can be something that can be long term. Okay. But you have to let go of that karmic relationship because I feel that person the karmic love interest is going to always come back around like every few months going to always come around talking in your ear talking in your ear but you're going to have to have willpower and know who you are and say no this is enough I cannot deal with this anymore I am done and cut that connection okay okay so the affirmation that spirit has for you guys is this life is a gift and to reject that gift or abuse that gift is not human and not worthy of us, okay? Do not reject anything that spirit is trying to bring into your life, okay? It is a gift from spirit. Do not reject it. Don't reject it because, oh, you're still dealing with this over here or you're afraid, okay? You're not accepting what spirit is trying to bring to you. You're abusing yourself you are bringing negative energy to yourself you are causing your own chaos when spirit is trying to give you something give you something new something that's going to help you that's going to change your life for the better okay so that is it for my group two people i hope it resonated with with you guys if it did take in the message sit on it as your angels and guys to you know give you more clarification and things but that's it. I love you all. And I'm going to go ahead and move to group three. Hello, my group three people. That was represented by the Smoky Quartz. And I'm just going to get straight to it with you guys. The energy for you guys is serious, okay? Many of you are dealing with custody battle as far as your children. You guys were married before or in a very long-term relationship that has caused a lot of issues for you guys regarding your children, 
okay? This is what I'm getting your children. As you can see, we have the legal card, we have selfish card, we have the karmic glove, okay? So this is telling me that you guys were going uh through a back and forth with legal issues this is this is this is why i'm getting custody battle and we have children here okay custody children custody children and it's been a lot of obstacles for you okay this person has caused a lot of obstacles for you okay and you've been very private with your feelings suppressing your feelings and this is really not good group three okay um Spirit is saying, you guys, this, I don't know. It's like, I feel like many of you are in a very dark, dark, negative hole. And you feel like you can't pull yourself out of it. You're worrying with the next about children going back and forth with court cases. Or they're threatening to take you to court. Okay? Um, or you're involved with someone that is going through those things. Okay? Um, uh, spirit is saying everything will be okay. That's first and foremost. Your cards are definitely dealing with a lot of like family issues and, and children. Um, so it's going to be okay. Okay. It's going to be okay. But the reason why I feel like this person is doing this to you because of the karmic connection, they don't want you to move on. So they're doing a lot of things out of spite. Oh, you don't want to be with me anymore. So, okay, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do all I can to make your life miserable because they're selfish and inconsiderate assholes. Okay? So, you need to just, you know, don't let that detour you and hold you back for whom spirit and the universe has for you because i feel the next person you're going to be will be an older gentleman okay will be older if you are it can be reversed it can be a, a mature woman if you're a man watching or you into same sex relationships the person would definitely be either just mature minded or somebody who is older than you okay um so this person will also be great with your children because they're older and more experienced this person may also have children and know how to interact with them this person will also be able to help you get through this process this process that's going on um this back and forth with legal issues um all of that this person will be very helpful to you this person may be well connected as well he may be well connected spirit is saying he's going to be connected or know how to get you the resources that you need to do all you can in this legal battle okay so this person is 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 very 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 important and and will be great for you this mature man or a woman and this is destined to happen this person is meant to come in and take over the role of father or take over the role of mother okay so you feel like there's no hope spirit is saying there is hope there's someone out there to to be your true partner okay and to help you raise children and i feel you guys are also going to have kids as well in the future okay this is destined to happen you guys this is destined to happen don't let that past relationship with your past partner or ex-husband or ex-wife um, detour you from, um, or make you feel that there's no one out there. Or nobody's going to want to take you with these children or this drama that you got going on with custody or, you know, just overall bullshit that people go through when they're trying to co-parent. Okay. Spirit is saying, no, 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 don't think that way. You will overcome your obstacles. This person will be there to help you overcome them, okay? Now, the next card we have, we have is the honeymoon card. Um, you guys will, I feel, I feel married, y'all. I feel, if you were married before and got a divorce, this person will be, it's a possibility of marriage, okay? Um, 
very strong and this person will also uh take you places will want to do things with you you see you in the car there's a person on the boat this person may you know want to internationally travel with you take you to see things that you have not seen before um right now i don't think that's going to happen now of course um especially with the travel restrictions and things going on but just know in the future this is what's going to happen this person is going to want to spend time with you will take you places is you guys is a big chance of marriage here and this person will take you in a very nice honeymoon spot um, and you're going to 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 realize that love still exists that you know genuine people exist okay spirit is also saying let your friends help you <laughs> So y'all, listen to your friends, group three. Your friends are are there to help you. I feel like you guys have really, really good friends. And real and really good friends are very hard to come by. But your friends will give you very good advice, not only in your love life, but also how to handle these legal issues that many may be facing as far as uh, with their children. Or even if it's not children, y'all, this can be another type of legal issue that's going on, okay? Um, but I feel like some of you may be um, already in legal issues or have been threatened, Um that they're going to seek some kind of legal uh some kind of legal uh battle like they're going to want to battle you legally in something okay um but your friends you have really good friends i feel like you have friends that are well connected too just like this mature person so you have a, a lot of good resources and people that's around you and spirit is saying you need to make use of them they are smart they are very knowledgeable people and you should take in consideration don't let pride get in your way don't be uh, afraid to ask for help okay pay attention to red flags okay this is saying as far as this legal issue is concerned pay attention to the moves this person is going to make because i feel some of you are being hoodwinked um uh, bamboozled or whatever you want to call it so a lot of you don't see this person planning legal bullshit behind your back they seeking to go to court or to sue you or to to you know sue for custody something along those lines but just know true love in the future is waiting for you after this issue ends after um you know you've let go of this other person or you know the ex-husband or ex-wife after that situation has ended as far as the legal bullshit, y'all separated, y'all divorced, whatever, and the custody have been settled and all of that. Just know true love is still waiting for you. Spirit is saying that your person is coming, but do not allow the bullshit with this person and all the obstacles and drama and all the things that's going on now or will happen if this has not happened yet. Uh, don't allow that to detour you from um, true love, okay? Um, let's see what um, affirmation we have here. We have stop holding your truth, speak your truth, be yourself is the healthiest way to be. All right, so for you guys, speak your truth. Don't be afraid, even against this person that's going to come against you legally. Don't be afraid to tell the truth on their ass, okay? Speak your truth because your truth will set you free and, and really end a lot of bullshit because a lot of women, because I, I feel like a lot of women is going to be watching this. I need you guys to stop worrying about shit affecting the other person because guess what? They're going to do what they need to do to look out for them. You need to do what you need to do to look out for you and your kids if you have them. You know, you got to do what you got to do. I don't care if you feel cutthroat, whatever. Because at the end of the day, you got to make sure you and yours eat. You got to make sure you and, you and yours survive. Okay? So this is what Spirit is saying for you guys. Um, This is this one was very serious to me. Like, you guys um, really, 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 really need to develop a relationship with your angels and, and your spirit guys. Because I swear to you, they have, they are really... 
they are trying to direct you okay if this have not happened yet they are warning you they are saying be prepared be ready this person may do some slide shit behind your back legally so be prepared if you are uh in the middle of divorce and you have children it's going to be a custody battle or a person may be seeking divorce from you okay and you're not knowing it you think everything okay you think you're working it out and this person is doing shit behind your back to get you out out the picture all right that is it for group three um i hope everyone who tuned in whether it was group one two or three i hope that spirit gave you guys the messages that you need i hope it resonated if it have not this may be something that may be in your energy and may be coming your way all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading if you have not subscribed to my channel please do you guys i would love to have you in the magic tribe also if you want to book a reading with me i will be open for bookings you guys this week finally yeah so make sure you follow me on instagram and facebook because i'm going to make an announcement of when i will be actually accepting private readings okay also if you want to purchase any one of my decks i will have the link posted below where you can click and purchase your decks the shadow oracle the love and attraction oracle and the under construction affirmation quotes that remember the overall energy for everybody really was to let go of what doesn't serve you okay people who don't serve you anymore let them go people who hurt you let them go stop holding on to relationships that spirit is trying to break up okay they're sending you one and trying to tell you they're not good for you take heed you guys because that's the only way the person that god has for you will be able to come through okay enough of that all right i'll see you guys in the next reading i love you all peace and blessings